hello guys how are you doing this afternoon i hope everyone is doing okay so we are still on the second day in the month of may 2020 and it's a beautiful uh, saturday afternoon um i quickly want to share this gist uh, with you guys um, because i already knew uh, that it's either this is going to happen okay so what am i saying um, i'm talking about the the controversial journalist Kemi Ululoyan, um, who is uh, missing on all her social media platform. Okay, so uh, this include her Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter account. Well, um, for now, I may not um, really tell what's going on, but definitely look some kind like um um a ban okay uh, because um the kemi i know she's um should i say she's a troublemaker when it comes to social media okay she's always controversial so this is coming after uh kemi uh who turned pharmacies according to her took to her social uh, media account to peddle unfounded rumors that the leader of ipob mazinamdikano was dead so subsequently, a social media um, feud ensured between the entire journalists and um, the IPOB group members. So as Kemi Oluloyo continued to drag the group on social media for weeks, even when Namdekanu did a live broadcast, daring Namdekanu to do a live broadcast, okay, to prove her wrong, and subsequently Namdi uh, Kanu did a live broadcast. That was on Wednesday, April 29. So um, when Namdi uh, Kanu did the live broadcast on Facebook, okay, um, actually it put an end to all the dead rumors. I really don't know how she got um, such rumor from, and it was trending on social media, putting panics between IPOB members. So uh, putting an end to all the dead rumor. Um, so personally, me, I thought uh, this was going to happen. So um, Kemi started another speculation that the person who did the broadcast was Namdekanu's clone. As the real Namdekanu was dead, she did not relent effort. She continued. Personally, like I said, I um, before now, I usually have regard to that lady. And I told her I, I stopped having any regards for her because of uh, the dead rumor. Well, for what I see, um, it's always a guesswork because uh, when she talk about a um, high-ranking, uh, um, high-ranking politician in Aso Rock who passed away because of coronavirus, few weeks, uh, some weeks after Abakiari died, so people were kind of uh, believing that uh, she knows all this. Okay, that she already knew that Abakiari was dead. Well, according to Kemi Oluloyan, the reason why I, I, I feel that she's always doing a guesswork is uh, before you get such intels, especially to Asorok, having such deep information, somebody should be on your payroll, okay? Someone should be on your payroll, insider, before such information could be leaked, all right? But uh, she is always coming on the internet, um, begging for money, putting her own account number, solicitor, asking for funds to enable her carry out uh, her investigative journalism. Okay, so that was when I realized that nobody is a, uh, nobody is on her payroll. So definitely, she don't have any intels uh, to be receiving information. All right. So for me, I open, I openly. Um, you know replied her tweet that everything she said is always uh, based on guesswork well i'm not a member of ipop but whatever the case may be um consequently the journalist has reportedly been blocked if you go to our um twitter handle you can see all our tweet i really don't know if um, it has been deleted but all our tweet okay everything says no post all right so the journalist has been reportedly been blocked on 
her social media platform. So um, as at um, the time I'm giving you this story, you can check it out yourself. Okay, search for her on the, um, uh, Twitter on other social media network. You will, um, you know, see uh, what I'm talking about. All right. So um, let me know what you think um, on the comment section below. So don't forget to subscribe and um, also click on the bell icon so you get notification whenever we have stories like this to share with you guys. All right. See you guys in another video.